Crisis and Counseling Centers helps anyone and everyone with anything related to mental health or substance use disorders. We do this work to build a community to help you know, people who are struggling to show them that there is someone out there who cares, to show them that there is that support, and to build a community where people are willing and wanting to reach out for help with things. You're seeing people when they're really struggling. You know, you're seeing them when they're really sometimes down and out. And just that little bit of compassion or that little bit of help that you give them means the world to them, and it's so big that it shows in a big change. Because while it can be something so small, to them it's the world because of where they're coming from. And we see that a lot, where even though it's a short stabilization stay, it can just be a couple days of work with somebody seeing that there's people out there who really want to help them, that makes a huge change for them. And then it spirals into a, a big life change for them. The CSU has a lot of goals, a lot of little goals kind of entangled into this one big goal, which is stabilization. You know, we have people who come in who are struggling, who are in a crisis, and our main job is to, how can we help them to feel that stability? How can we transition them back into the community in a safe and stable way? So we kind of know when our job is done by watching that person's progress, and really they'll tell you, the, the client themselves will tell you when they're feeling ready, when they're feeling, you know, more stable and it's we've taken the situation that they're in and have given them the tools to be able to transition back into the community and that's really when we know the job is done when we feel and they feel that they can safely go home in a sense of a, of a typical work day that's not something that a csu worker is gonna be able to experience all the time but the kind of flow is going to be that you're going to have you know clients that come to us and they're gonna have something in their life that's going on and you're gonna take them in, you're gonna make them feel welcomed. You're gonna work with them on an assessment and a treatment plan and throughout the day, you're gonna be working with them on groups, on treatment and you're gonna be you know, helping them come up with schedules and helping them come up with you know, life goals and you know, positive things that they can look to you know, while providing the um, stable setting to them as well by doing the cooking and the cleaning and just being, one thing you can really always expect is just being a, a, a person that they can come to and just to listen, just to talk with them. You know, you don't always have to have the right answer, but you can always expect that there's gonna, they want somebody to listen to and that's really gonna be a big part of your day is talking with the clients, listening to them and doing your best to try and help their situation. So we're looking for people who are hardworking, people who are supportive, people who are compassionate, you know, that's, that's a big one, that they're compassionate and have a passion for the job. You know, it's, it's not necessarily having to be about you have this certain skill set, but your willingness to learn, your willingness to work as a team, and your willingness to grow professionally. Those are the big things that are really like, this person's going to succeed. When a CSU worker first starts, they are going to get to sit down with me, you know, as a program manager and really get into kind of the logistics of how things work and, you know, get into the nitty gritty. And then once we've kind of gone over that, we really like to move it into hands-on training. You know, like to move it into setting them up with a team leader to work with them on learning the processes and to, you know, learning how to work with the clients and learning how to interact and do the paperwork and stuff like that. And then we, once again, still transition them to kind of shadowing or working with another seasoned worker to really put a finite on those skills that they would have been taught. And then, of course, it comes with the trainings of, you know, the, the book trainings as far as for the MHRT trainings along with like your CRMA and stuff like that. So you get a lot of certifications and you get a lot of support. You know, that's a big thing is we really, really aim to support people and we encourage them to ask questions when they're, you know, training. Like, come to us, let us know what you might be struggling with so we can help you to succeed. One of the biggest things about working for this company and about working in the Crisis Stabilization Unit program is the opportunity to see and learn. And what I mean by that is somebody who is interested in the mental health field, you will very quickly be able to see it all. You will see multiple um, diagnoses and multiple, you know, kind of avenues of substance use disorder. And it's amazing to be able to see so many things so quickly and to feel like you're making a difference while being able to see it.
one of the kind of misconceptions um, is that the work is really hard or that the work is, um, you know, something that's dangerous. But really, I think that comes from a, from a misconception about mental illness and, and substance use disorder when the uh, truth behind it is that your work is very rewarding and a lot of times people are just struggling and need someone and you're going to get a lot more fulfillment than anything else from working in a crisis unit. You know, you hear stories about workplaces where things, you know, get tough and everyone feels like they're out for themselves or they are not able to pull it together. And one thing coming into that really surprised me was how quickly I learned how many people have my back and how many people are really good at working as a team and how much they care about each other. You know, it's not a myself mentality, it's a this is a team mentality.